Hello, and welcome to Horror and Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at NECA's brand new Trick or Treat Ultimate Sam figure. So let's spin around and take a closer look. And here is our lovable, adorable little Sam out of the packaging. And you get a lot here, as you can see, there's a ton of accessories, especially this price point, which I think this figure is what, about 26 bucks, 27 bucks. Uh, it is a revamped Sam from their previous release with new articulation, just a better body in general, and lots of goodies as far as accessories. So let's dive right on in. First up, we will take a look at Sam himself. and the head sculpt that he comes with out of the packaging, which looks amazing. You can see all the little detailing here from the burlap. And it's just a great sculpt. He is so adorable. So this is made out of a soft vinyl or PVC. So you can still have head rotation and movement here, although it is limited by obviously his burlap sack but you can still get movement out of here which is obviously ideal we'll go to the shoulders which you have tons of movement here and they do a great job in hiding the joints as best that they can there's a double jointed elbow here and go ahead and actuate that is there there's really good movement out of here and of course the hand has full rotation we'll take a look at that guy so the paint apps on here are just terrific I love the coloring and I love the weathering on the body too I think I liked this guy better than the, the clothed Sam take a look at this hand this hand is what you use for the um, the candy bar knife or the burlap sack. Come down here, obviously there is no torso joint. Take a look at the back. The legs, there is a bit of articulation here. Which is good. It all holds its positioning well. Here's the knee joint. And then we come down here to the feet, which there is movement on the feet. Actually a pretty decent amount of movement. And again, I love the way he's done up. I feel, I feel like they did a really good job in hiding the joints. And he's just a great looking figure. It's great work that they did with the body here. Let's take a look at the heads now. Set him aside. First up is the open burlap head sculpt. Which again is great. And you can see a little bit of sand up in here. Although I would imagine that it's not a full head sculpt in here. But as far as you can see, it is. Which is great. So we'll set that guy aside. We'll take a look at the wounded head. And that looks great. I think I like the detailing on the cloth figure better though, as far as the head sculpt. Maybe not, I don't know. I should break them out, do a comparison. But I've got them boxed back up. His jaw does open. And I will say though that on the cloth figure, the jaw was open and you could see through it to his neck, which I didn't really like on here. They have closed it all up and that looks much, much better. Take a look at the regular head sculpt. And 
And again, it's just such good work here that NECA does, especially at this price point. I love him. I love the movie. I'm sure that you guys love the movie, obviously, if you're looking at this figure. It has quickly become a cult classic. This is the standard Jack Lantern. And then we have the light up Jack Lantern. Which has a cool little flame, translucent flame on here. And I love the way that you actuate the light. You just push down on the flame to turn it on and off. Let's take a look at this with the lights dimmed out a bit. You can kind of see how well it glows and how it looks inside the jack-o'-lantern head. And it looks great. Up next, we will take a look at the burlap sack, which again is very well done. The sculpt work here is great. And uh, this is made out of a soft material here so that you can place it in his hand, which we will do in a moment. First, we'll set that aside. We will look at his alternate hand. And this is the one that's used to hold the lollipop. So let's go ahead and look at the lollipop real quick. And then we will go ahead and put it in his hand like so. We'll say though that the, the hole for the lollipop is a little bit loose. It's kind of, if you don't want it all the way down, it fits, it's kind of a little loose in there. But once you, if you choke up on it, then it holds tight. But I would like to see that hole a little bit more closed. But that's nitpicking. Here is his severed hand. which obviously great de detailing and paintwork. Nice fluorescent color on his guts, his little insides. Then of course we have the candy bar knife. Which looks really cool. So that's it as far as accessories. Let's do some swap outs. How about that? First up, let's go ahead and put in the candy bar knife so you can see how that goes. And that fits into the hand well. And then again, this hand holds the burlap sack, which takes a little bit to get it in there, but not too much. You just kind of need to move his thumb out of the way, which I'm attempting to do with the camera in front of me and can be kind of difficult, but here we go. And again, that looks, that looks really good. I love that sculpt on there. All right. Let's go ahead and we're gonna swap out hands. Yeah, that is the connection for the hand. Set that hand aside and we will put in the lollipop hand. Like so. And let's go ahead and pop off this head sculpt. Take a good look at the neck joint. We'll set that aside and kind of look at the open mouth for a lap sack. 
head sculpt. And the cool thing about this is you can kind of kind of pose it where he's like taking a bite of it, like so. Let's swap heads again. Be able to take a look at this head sculpt on the body. Very nicely. So I think he looks he looks great. I love the design of Sam. He's such a cool character. Such a cool figure. All right, guys. So that's about all there is to go over with this Ultimate Sam figure. I think he is an awesome figure. And I think that you got a lot of bang for your buck, especially at this price point. It comes with a lot of inclusions. And I think he's a great update to the original NECA Sam which has become a cult classic at this point. And uh, yeah, I couldn't recommend this figure anymore. I love him to death, and I hope that you guys do too. As always, feel free to leave any questions or comments, and I'll be happy to answer them. And also feel free to like and subscribe, and click the bell for notifications for new videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.